you know. <laughs> yes, sir. Scare money don't make money. It has been an absolute. It's been mayhem for the recruiting. It's been really fun to watch. It's been. It's a ton of great news that that's coming out. The branding has been phenomenal. All the money that that uh, Billy went out and spent on on the recruiting classes and and these these uh, the people involved with this. It's it's working. Um, it, it's doing really well. So let's just kind of go over a few things really quick. I got a few names, um, a few kind of just um, verbiage or uh, quotes from guys. So top recruits that visited, visited this past week. We had a four-star recruit, Cedric Baxter. He's the number fourth running back in the nation for 2023. We had a four-star safety, uh, Jonel uh, Guaro, second in the nation, safety. Four-star uh, def- defensive lineman, A.J. Hoffler, 39th uh, linebacker in the nation. Four-star wide receiver, there it is. Uh, the Quavius Sori, 14th wide receiver in the nation, and then four star D line Ruben Bain, 21 D line in the nation. Not to mention, we had uh, the the Gators have been predicted to land five star, the number two quarterback in the nation, AJ Harris. Just absolute mayhem is going on right now in in, in Gator Nation, and I love it. Look, there is there has been a, so much news for 2023 that's happening right now that I try to kind of just chump it down into a a few sentences because the names and the visits and who's been coming out and who visited this past weekend has been insane. Um, we had two big quarterbacks that came out as well. Let me go over that really quick. Um, Cormani McLean, he's a five-star cornerback. Sorry, not quarter, cornerback. Um, his mom was impressed. And again, this is something we talked about in the past where he's heavy on the, on the family influence. I think he realizes with these kids, like, sure, the money's there. They want to do this. They want to do that. But it wants to feel like a... a a family and, 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 and a, a united nation in a sense. So I think they're pushing that really heavy. The vibe that I'm kind of getting to in a way, and I'm, as I was reading this and going through this stuff and hear me out really quick for all, all the, uh, the, the, the throwback fans with, with Friday night lights, right? What made, when you watch Friday night lights and what made it so good and what made the team good, right? Obviously it was a TV show, but was the, the camaraderie, right? But the family aspect of everything. And I think once the money and all that kind of gets spread out, I think that's going to help with some people. But it's going to come down to where am I going to feel happy playing, right? Because the money isn't going to – I think eventually the money's going to matter, but it's going to hopefully even itself out. And that's what's going to win in the long run is how do I feel, where am I excited to play at? And that's the vibe that I've been getting. And all of the guys that are coming and visiting Florida like, hey, something's going on down there. It feels really good. Now, could these kids just be hyped up because it's their first school they're going to? Maybe. But maybe that's the key, right? They're the first school. He's getting to them first. So he's spreading it out there, getting the tentacles out there. And now it's free marketing, right? Because his kids are so pumped up to be here. And they're just going out and saying, no, that was incredible. I can't wait. So it's good to see. Look, I'm to the point where if uh, if a kid is coming out of Louisiana, the state of Louisiana, that uh, there's there's at least a 60% chance that you guys get him, regardless of Alabama's a neighbor uh, or if he's ever, you know, ever even considered Florida at this point, you guys have, uh, have, have done a great job at re- taking the the kids that he's been recruiting for a long time and, and showing them the, the benefits of, of being in one of the Florida universities and playing down here. And so uh, I, I don't, I, there, I wouldn't rule him out of anything at this point. That's he's uh, He's done a great job. Sure. And so Napier's Twitter account is, 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 Scared money don't make money, you know? <laughs> it's legendary, okay? The guy just tweets out just little emoji sunglasses, guys. Like, just just little teasers. And Yeah, that's the thing, though. That's what the coaches do. Like, <laughs> they send those things because they can't talk about recruits. It's so they just little, put these little drops in there. Little they'll swags. Just, they'll put in, yeah, they'll put in, like, a, an area code. They'll drop an area code, like, 305. And it's like, oh, my God. Ah, mayhem. Ah. Mayhem. Dude, it's... It's it's really it's really fun to watch. Like I said, I'm I'm excited about it. I'm excited to see where where this choo choo train's headed. Um, it's all good news right now. So, th- look, that's all we kind of have on on the recruiting stuff. But I did want to go over it because it has been an absolute blast thus far. Um, moving on, 